It's one of the campers I wanted to look at with these embers because they're kind of overlanders slash they'd be awesome full timers. It'd be fun to go off road on um, the full time uh, tripping lifestyle. out so you don't break your neck. A Dometic, I believe it is, yes, a 12 volt fridge. I'm just looking up there. So we've got some hanging in here and it'd be like a belly shirt hang where it's going to drag. It also looks like a shelf that folds down inside. fan for stale air. Let's go all the way back about 30 inches. I don't think the water comes with it. Nice. Could you full time in this? Well, quite possibly. It's got a decent amount of storage. One person would be a lot easier, obviously. Two would be a little cramped. Um, I have to downsize some of my crapola, but I carry a lot of work stuff with me. I carry two sets of clothes, things like that. But yeah, you could definitely, this would definitely be full-time, full-time option on this, this here, this, this here guy. Yeah, nice storage. And this is an Overlander. So this would make, make all your RV dreams and off-road adventures come true. Got the poly Euro style double pane windows. Two burner, I mean, you know, if you're carrying Instapot or whatever else, that'd be great. That's decent storage. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be like luxury full timing, but what are you doing? It's it's about getting out there. Here's your Murphy folded down. Oh, it's a bunkhouse. Oh my goodness. Oh, the throne room is amazing. I mean, it's a porcelain throne. You, I mean, you could put your phone, you could put a TV in here. So you got something to watch while you're throning. Windows. Corner cab is nice. Sink in the bathroom. Toe in the way at the door. And you know what I would love to see? And I don't know if that's completely open under there or not. I'm not gonna climb around there to find out. This would be a great place for an office. Full time capable. Yes, you could do storage in an office back there. Again, 12 volt fridge. Dogs pull me out the door. Skylight. Yeah, man, I like, I like these. Oh, that's fine. Um, this the discussion we're having. I just thought it'd be cool. If some if we could find campers that had offices in them for us people without extra people and dogs. But so this sofa as yeah. well as that Murphy bed. So sofa, you've got like a table. This slides in here. It's got a bar. Slides oh, in here. Could you get off in there, please? So you don't have any pedestal legs. Okay. Get down. Sorry. Get down. But as far as home office is concerned, yeah. you've actually got two pretty significant sized sofa tables, tables there and here. You've got sofa, sofa. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we live in a camper. <laughs> All right, down, Sherlyn, I'll just put this one on just so you can see. Okay, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, see. What this does here, see how this flips up? Yeah. This is for bringing bikes right, or right. all kinds of yeah, but it's okay. goodies. Plenty of storage, but see right here makes for a nice... No, that, that actually would well. work really well, because then you... Yeah. Yep. 
That's cool. And that table, uh, there's another table for that one. Yeah. So you've actually got dual. Well, this is all folded no, up No, I here. like that, yeah. So what's your, like, company-wise, right. what's your... Uh, What's your vision as far as what you just overlanding or what's the main? Uh, this is our first product, but we we envision ourselves uh, getting into more mainstream laminated lightweight products, okay. both travel trailers initially and uh, someday maybe fifth wheels. Okay. What's the uh, construction like on the walls and the roof? Uh, it's all composite, okay. uh, which is great. So you've, in the walls, you've got composite interior paneling, then you have a dense polystyrene foam, bead foam insulation. Okay. Aluminum tube framing, welded aluminum tube framing, and then on the outside, underneath the fiberglass skin, right. there's another eighth-inch piece of composite Asdell material there. Okay. So, inner and outer composite, aluminum framing, polystyrene foam. We do the same thing in the roof structure. So this is all laminated, so it's solid. Is, is, you know, it is, it, is the top curved on the outside? It's actually like a Range Rover. Okay. It, it slopes to the back. Okay. So in the air conditioning unit, you still get some water runoff off the back. Okay. Instead of the black streaking on the sides, you get that all off the back, nice. right? Yeah. Plus, it gives it a, a nice aesthetic. Yes. Yeah. Look, I like it. Uh, versus just a boxy trailer. Yeah. You noticed also up here uh, on the front corners on the outside. Yeah. The, we the actually use the branch rail. guards there. Yeah. Yep. The, with the amber uh, logo laser etched in there. Um, and the exoskeleton itself that provides yep. so much a lot more structure. We're going sure. two ways into all your all your framing. So that was one of the things behind there. Uh, you know, most most RVs they just it's just screwed on one side really. So yeah, that adds. The other cool thing is in the floor then to yes. answer your question about how the walls are constructed. Yeah, yeah. So so the walls and everything obviously it's all laminated just like the, right. the roof structure. So very solid but lightweight. The floor structure then we looked at different wood products and we're like man. Why why are we going composite five sides? Oh, here we go. So the floor we ended up with the same floor you were just That's talking about here. Airstream. Okay. It's the exact same floor structure Airstream went to a couple of years ago to get rid of plywood. It's mm -hmm. called Transcore. Okay. So it's a full composite material all the way through. It's very very solid. The screw retention mimics plywood. Nice. And it's significantly lighter. Right. And, and what it, happens if it's it, wet? Yeah, and nothing. And nothing. It, it's closed cells. And you so see it's how light gonna, it is. Yeah. So that's what we're standing Absolutely. on right now. That's there's, awesome. There's no flex. It's it's, it's, it's literally insulation. Like lightweight concrete is the best way to describe have it. You, have you done like real cold weather with these yet or anything to see how they're... Yeah, we actually have units at the hot, hot and cold chamber at Dometic right now. Okay. And uh, we're going through our final testing there just to make that's sure awesome. everything's good but we're fully enclosed underneath plus we have 12 volt tank heaters okay uh so nice is nice what's your price point on something like, like uh this? retail wise on this one you're going to be in the 50s okay that's not for what you're getting that's that's yeah great. especially with the price that's the jacking. thing you gotta you gotta look at the suspension oh yeah i saw the, the box yeah. tube frame the versa coupler hitching system the two inch receiver on the back with a 300 pound rating for a cargo rack or a bike rack yes. off the back uh, the European dual pane windows, Big acrylic plot. dual oh. panes, all this stuff yeah, it's just, adds up. Oh, right? and, it's, and it's nice because it, it makes it the more comfortable. The construction dwarfs anything you're going to yeah. see in, in this whole So display. what what makes you want to start a camper business? Uh, actually, so Ashley Bontrigger, okay. she's our 35-year-old CEO. Okay. She is the granddaughter of Lloyd and Bertha Bontrigger. Okay. And I worked for them at Jayco for 29 years. Okay. Uh, until she called, and she and three other uh, former Jayco employees started things up kind of in her uh, kitchen uh, a little more than a year ago, just kind of dreaming it up. And uh, I started in May, and it's been a lot of. Uh, Are you? Is your history in production for you, or what's your? No, background? sales. Okay. Sales side. Yep. Two of two of the founders with Ashley were production side people. Assembly. One guy was 28 years at Jayco, the other 19. Okay. And then the uh, other founder. So there's four founders. The other founder was the senior director of product development at okay. Jayco for all That's products. Cool. Oh, these are nice. I, it's, it was kind of cool to see you guys are here. Uh, so. He's the wizard at product development. But this interior, this is all Ashley. Ashley's like. I don't want it looking too commercial. You know, these are adventure campers on the outside, but I want it warmer, more modern yes. on the inside. Yep. So she picked out all the 
all the colors, all the flooring. She she did all this. Ashley did, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. Well, I think you guys are doing a good job. Yeah, she for, uh, my, for my tiny YouTube channel input, you know. It's fun. No, no, appreciate it. But no, it's it's neat. Yeah, everybody says why? Why now? What, why, why start an RV company when why it's not? hard to get supplies? Well, why not? You know, when is a good the time? The demand's up, and I don't. We can grow into it. I don't. Just the way we're thinking, the you know, we you heard a lot of people say, "Oh, they're going to sell their campers next year." I think it's kind of like that '70s hippie revitalization yeah. thing where it's going to be going for a while. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. I mean, thank you for your time. Thanks. KP, where? Yeah, it's KP. I'm looking at I'm looking at this stretch. I know, you're bored. The bearded boondocker's bored, but we're gonna go check out these. I love these snaps. Oh, okay, this one. Yeah, the interior right now on all these is basically the same color. Yeah, get the dog off the surface here. No, you can't get up there. I don't know when I've ever really used three burners on my stoves. The two burner stoves gives you more counter space. The bathroom. Hang on. The bathroom. Oh. Well, that other bathroom is this little snug in here, but it's not toilet wise. Use common sense. There's not a lot of that going around these days. All right. Uh, kind of squeak my head in here. Uh, got a couch that sure folds down into a bed. Got an AC unit right here on the wall. Vent fan. Decent amount of storage. Cabinet. All right. Got a rooftop tent up here. Let's go check that guy out. Well, look at that rooftop tent and everything, little kitchen in the back. If you haven't, folks, if you would take a minute, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell and get more videos from my channel. And on behalf of myself and Daisy, the bearded boondock and full send dog, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and remember to do what you can where you are with your